right guys, I just wanna give you a quick update. We've got all of the first operation done with our Texas table. This is the leg for it. The way I was running the first operation was through three vices, so that way I could grab it really well. Now, I have to do the other side of it, and I have to cut the hat off. But since this part has some unique angles and some unique sides to it, I wanna clamp it as best as I can. So I'm going to cut soft jaws. They're made out of aluminum, so that way I can grab the part really well. So I've already arranged and maneuvered my part in Mastercam the exact way I want it. But I like to be hands-on when I'm working with big parts, and I like to go ahead and sharpie out a foam pattern. This allows me to then go through and just have something in my hands where I could easily maneuver it on the machine and move it around on the vise so that way I know exactly where I want it and I can play with it and get my setup even better. I want to make sure that every angle of the part is sitting exactly where I want it in the jaw so that way I can clamp onto it as best I can. So when I went through and I did the first off, I had it across three vices and when I was doing the jaws and I was doing my op beat that's what I was planning on doing was taking my part being able to flip it over and make my jaws the more I looked at it and the more I was able to move my template around I, I actually think it's gonna be better for going just with two vices and I'm going to cut my pocket or my soft jaw in this exact spot it's nice because I still have this corner over here and I don't have to worry about this sharp edge on this side because it will be hanging off, which saves me having to make a modified program. And because that harsh point is off my jaw, it saves me having to drill it or make a notch to go through and make sure that that piece properly fits my pocket. All right, so just like that, I deleted my vise. I'm now gonna take my program, rearrange it, move my stuff around, so that way I can get it perfect. So I got my core five in, and I'm now ready to go ahead and cut my soft jaws. So I went ahead and actually cut about 20 thousandths in Z for my profile into my soft jaws so that way I can make sure that the program is positioned correctly and that my soft jaw will be in the right spot for when I cut my jaws. Since everything looks perfect, I'm going to go ahead and lower my Z so that way I can cut the pocket. There's nothing more satisfying than when a part perfectly fits in the jaws you just made. So now that that's done, we're ready to start our second operation. 